this is my project bike. A lot of you have never seen probably. This is uh, HP Igor or Igor. Over there is Frank and Zuki, my 80s era super bike GS that I built and raced. But uh, Igor is a pretty special bike. Um, I've had it over here covered up since 2019. It hasn't run in four years. And uh, I decided to bring it out of hibernation and kind of go through it. And uh, I put a fresh set of plugs in it. I cleaned the air filter. I just changed the oil and filter. And I went over and cleaned the whole thing about three hours. It's still not perfect. But uh, anyway, um, this is the first startup. Got a fresh lithium ion battery in it. And uh, yeah, we just got oil in it part way up the window now, so I may run it and then shut it off. But, um, this bike uh, was in Cycle World back in 2015, I think it was. Don Kinney tested it. It's, it's kind of my rolling catalog. No one would spend the money on everything that's on this bike, but it's got a lot of stuff about eight, eight to nine thousand dollars worth of accessories that I make and was selling at the time. But um, yeah, the engine, uh, these motors are a pain to make power. Um, they have real tiny cams in them. They're only 36 millimeter throttle bodies. Um, this motor, I did a head on it myself. And uh, uh, the secondary butterflies are removed. It's got my tuner on it. It's called my Stage 2 Tune. It's got a very mild set of cams I did with webcam in it. Um, the valve guide seals, there's not enough clearance between the valve keepers and the seals, so you can only, you can only, uh, geez, put about 15, 18 thousandths more lift. It's ridiculous. So it was kind of a loser. It, you know, not worth the money. Uh, it does have a set of pistons in it. I raised the compression just a couple points. I think it's 12 to 1. <clears throat> but it's still super mild and it's restricted by the throttle body. So it made at my other at my other location in California it made 150 horsepower, but it made uh, I think the best 103 or 104 foot pounds of torque. So it's still fun to ride. It's just a mild mannered, really bitching bike. So we're gonna get it running, and the track has a couple days out here. I've never taken it to the drag strip yet. I don't expect it to run. I'd probably run mid tens here at high altitude. High altitude. But uh, for now, let's fire it up. It sounds pretty good. Let's see. Uh, let's see how or Igor feels about starting after a four-year four layoff. Here we go. It doesn't start. All right. Well, that wasn't so good. Well, I cycled the fuel pump a few times. I siphoned all the gas out of it. Um, and I uh, just put about three gallons of 90 octane and teeny bit of, uh, of uh, injector cleaner in it. So um, it should, it, I'm pretty sure, because it was still psyched on the fuel pump. Should fire now. We'll see. Ah.
right. Back to life. That's my 10 inch bad boy, and this is our complete four into two into one that we used to make here in house. Uh, it's a really trick pipe with staggered collector links. And uh, I designed that exhaust. My brother in law Paul used to make them. And you can't tell, but to get it even, I staggered the primaries to get equal primary length. And then it's got a huge collector underneath where it collects. And then these are one off wheels. These are. Carrozeria, Carrozeria, forged wheels. Um, I have the only set ever made is on Ego right here. Um, I was going to be a distributor for them, and the, we, I worked with the owner of the company. And uh, then the guy went out of business, so I got the one and only set. So anyway, that's it for Ego right this second. We'll have a little fun here in a couple weeks. Talk to you later. Tuning, touching up my tune-up, and uh, also a street tune that's slightly leaner on crews and stuff. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, I'm playing with the kill time a little bit on my electric shifter. I had it really conservative for the street, not the roads, so I'm going to shorten the kill time up a little bit. So I'm going to fire it up right now, and I'm not starting first because it'll jump off the dyno, and I don't want to beat on it like that. So let's see how it does from the second gear roll on. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and shift with the shift light. The shift light set at about 10.3 or 10.4, which is actually about 9,900. Okay, and uh, let's see how it sounds. Um, it's a real long kill time. I'll bump it up just a hair more, but um, it sounds decent. I'll leave it alone because the track's still where it counts to really adjust it. So uh, anyway. Let's give it a go. My air melts. Sounded pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> spun a little bit in second. I'm just kind of rolling into it, and then I kind of screwed up and short shifted it before the shift light came on. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit quicker right now, just and do one more. So see if he, that makes Igor happy or not. Okay, so I, I went one more uh, one more little adjustment. Uh, it should be slightly quicker. If it shifts clean, no problem at all. I'll leave it that. So let's do this and see how Igor likes it. Alright, 
that sounds pretty good. Um, I might back it back down when we go out to the track for the starting point, but I know now a reference point where it's pretty clean there. I liked it. So but we'll see if it lights it out of the track. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Igor out of hibernation after sitting four years. And uh, he sounds good. And stock wheel base, I'm gonna put put my struts on the different position. It lowers it an inch and a quarter. Maybe pull the forks down a little bit. The totally stock wheelbase. Um, sport touring handlebars upright. Gas tank's kind of long. You can't get over the front end too good. So we'll just see how good I can do. But um, I'm hoping it'll run mid tens out here at 4,500 feet. The track's about a half second slow from like Sacramento, three hours away. Um, and maybe to run 128 to 132. Who the hell knows what it's going to run? It's going to run what it's going to run. All I know, it's going to be fun. All right, see you next time.